So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him.
Holy shit. That's really him. Oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alice just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so-so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. 
Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. 
Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Well, here we are. What did you think of the show? Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can... Show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Uh... 
Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. You're not the boss of me, poster. Standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck, creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. I could spend hours sitting here. is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry, with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. It still doesn't feel real, like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. But I guess this is my home now. 
Walking Scott Street, feeling like a stranger. With an open heart, open container. I've got a stack of mail and a tall can. It's a shower, beer, it's a payment plan. Over my head Every night when I go to bed Spending money and I earned it When I'm lonely that's when I'll burn it How very small town. Okay, Steph, let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Wait, is that the hold list? Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Give me a hand. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. I love that this town has their own radio station. Huh, Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? to die I wanted to see what would happen you're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall hey luck or not I've officially cheated death it's been so long since I've played Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Guess there really is no rest for the weary. 
How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Looks like Ryan might need some help finding that toy. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. A good place for toy safekeeping. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews? Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Maybe in the junk box. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <coughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should have known. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. 
Any ammunition you can give me? (laughs) He acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. (sighs) It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if... You gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? Great, thanks. Just, did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. (laughs) And this dude... Hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Oh, anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. (laughs) But I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or 
should I blow his cover? You good? Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know, dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed, hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His bossy means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff, mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. 
or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Shut up. I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right now! No. No, 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 not here. No, 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 not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you!
Stay. Stay. The fuck. The fuck. Away from her. Away from him. I didn't... It's okay. You're just a fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. Oh god, Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Crazy how much we've changed. Hmm. 
No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here.
You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids. But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. 
It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh. And? Crap. Sorry. I think I've forgotten the order. Are you sure you've been a server before? That's right. Hmm. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Nice. Poor Ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Oh, hey, someone made a course about my life. Still want to hit the trails later this
this week? scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just like... Let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh god. Were you there too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we 
still together. What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? Your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um... Maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Glad you could fill in today. There you have it. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. Hey, Alex. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. I'm ready to take yes. you up on that drink. All right. Just so Wait, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. <laughs> hey, keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it's not <sighs> when I was on duty. You know, your yeah, brother's been talking about you getting here for months. It's a security I'm concern. starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly sure, the day he found no your way. number. He was it's telling day, everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoops since Noah built the Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Sure. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. You can't be serious. Oh, is that really Ryan? Chen. My dad was in the service. Miss Chen. My dad was in the service. Glad you could fill in today.
Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. (laughs) Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. (laughs) It's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved... I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. You have to take the shot. (laughs) Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. (laughs) Yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. Okay. Why do you like this song? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Can you handle it? So, why do I like this song? The lyrics crack me up. Even the title's pretty goofy. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. Goofy title, you say? Hmm. You've got two questions left.
Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. No punctuation in the song title. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. The band name is on the cover. The title's kind of goofy. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> Guess I'm drinking. Thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. I don't know what kind of place you worked at before, but you got a ways to go. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? (laughs) 
Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. sure it's not just, you know. 
It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. (laughs) That's true most of the time. (laughs) I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. (laughs) Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? (laughs) Well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan... He told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. (laughs) 
Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be... I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't... I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. at the old mine? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. The real monster here is underage drinking. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murderous. Joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. happened 
here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. I think Thanor went a different way. Thanor went a different way. Gabe's on the gate. I should see if I can make sense of the comic. I think Thanor went a different way. Any luck? Been a minute since I tried to break a lock. I've lost my edge. <laughs> what, what you told me before. If he were out here and, like, feeling something... Could you use it to find him? Uh, he'd have to be feeling it, like, a lot. Like, really strong. Even then, I don't know. Guess it was worth a shot. Nothing like this is in the comics. Thanor could have just plowed through the entrance. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Thanor could have just plowed through the entrance. 
Let me know if you find anything, yeah? Let me know if you find anything, yeah? Ryan seems like he knows what he's doing. Glad he's here. Did Ethan? Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Have I got some good news for you? What? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. caution like an hour ago. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wasn't in the comic. Not in the comic. Okay, where does Thanor go next in the comic? The silo. We're getting close.
Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes! Maybe there's some way to open the door. Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? Find an alternative to hurling yourself through a window. Check. The silo. We're getting close. No good to you with broken ankles, Ethan. Not in the comic. wasn't in the comic. to get out of this creepy old building. wasn't in the comic. I kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Ryan's waiting for me by the door. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Hi, 
Scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Wasn't in the comic. We should head out the back door. Ethan's still out there. Wasn't in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. Not in the comic. I'm no good to you with broken ankles, Ethan. Find an alternative to hurling yourself through a window. Check. The silo. We're getting close. <laughs> 